recording again. So welcome everybody. Welcome to Hot Song Podcast. Today is June 13th, 2024. We are, this is the second week that we are talking about cleansing the soul. So this is cleansing the soul part two. Last week we talked about um, a couple of things. We talk about that with the, uh, working with the soul energy how to work with the soul energy and one of the ways is really to go to our soul energy through um, working with our real eye and the real eye is around here so where the the your nose bridge is the lowest the, the lowest part of your nose bridge and that is about where your real eye is if you just push up on it, you will feel there is a tender spot. So that is where the real eye is. And the real eye is powered by the zero point. The zero point is um, kind of in the, when you, if you trace your ribs, it's the last rib in your body. They come together in the middle. And when they come together, there is, is the breastplate that is the how we are and, um, anatomically connected. And that breastplate, that area when the last two ribs, when the last rib on both sides comes together. So that is the area of where the zero point is. Zero point is really where we are connected, energetically connected to our soul, meaning that we receive information from there. And when we activate that part of our body, that energy comes up and it hits the real eye. So it can it can hit like um, all the way to the crown. But before it does that, it actually hits the, the real eye. And that is where we um, can start to the more we use that real eye, the more we can activate that real eye, that, that column of energy. And we talked about one of the ways that we can um, use this soul energy is really to start to purify past life experience or, and, and also current life experiences. Sometimes there are some traumas, uh, other experiences that we haven't quite um, processed fully yet. So energetically, they are kind of still stuck in our body. And when we use the soul energy, it actually makes it easier to for the, the that energy to be, that stuck energy to be uh, released from the body as well. So that's part of the, the reason why we want to use the soul energy to do that and um, the good thing about soul energy is that it it's much more powerful than using um, than when you try to use your conscious mind to release these emotions because it is powered by your soul and also from your heart and your heart energy is at least twice if not more um like powerful than your your mind's energy. So why not use the the, the the more potent of the two energies to help yourself so that you can really let go of those stuck energies. So I just want I'm I'm not sure whether I've talked about it before. Um is that these energies, these stuck energies, these these emotions, they are so when we released it, what we are releasing is really our um, linkage to it. So the, in the, the energy within our body, our emotions actually um, is, is a linkage to, let's say, for example, sadness. There is a linkage to sadness that may be you know from this lifetime or from your family family dynamics and and all of that so um 
every time when something is similar energetically, they become um, pulled together. So and then, so emotions is the same. So similar emotions would would pull together. So if there's a um, lot of people being afraid, then the, this pull of energy of fear will become more and more potent. But when we release it, what we're doing is release our linkage to the fear. And when we kind of release our linkage to the fear, it does not matter you know, how much fear is out there for you know, the rest of the, 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 the human race when you release your own linkage to it, then um, you're not affected by that pull of fear anymore. So even if like everyone around you is fearful, you are not as affected by it. You may be able to, if you, especially if you are more of an empathic person, you would feel their fear, but you would know that they are their fear, not yours. And um, so that is what I mean by just releasing those emotions. It's really releasing our linkage so, so that we don't get affected by it anymore. And um, we talked about the, our guardians. Um, why do I want to introduce the, the concept of guardian? It's because when we come to Earth, to this playground to play. We don't just come here you know, by ourselves. We are just dropped off by the universe to, to this you know, interesting playground and you know never heard from the, the universe again. We're not here all by ourselves. We're never by ourselves because, well, for one thing there is, we are, on, we are actually all aspects of one. And um, but energetically, we always have assistance from um, the bigger parts of ourselves because our 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 soul and spirit is actually so much bigger than our body. So there are and um, and within our soul, we also have access to our soul family, meaning that other souls that are sim that are on a similar journey uh, of exploration as ourselves. So we have access to their help, their assistance, if we wish to call on their assistance as well. So we are very well connected no matter where we are. Even though physically we may not see them, in front of us or close to us, but energetic, energetically, they are always available to us. And one of the, the major, um, I would say, source of energy that is helping us here is our guardian. That's why they are called our guardian. The guardian is not unique to one person because um, like there are many millions of people would have one guardian and that guardian energy would be so, um, I would say, so big that, um, so much more connected that they will sense all the individual people that are from that, um, that, uh, that can be traced back to that guardian. So the guardian is really a, a powerful and, um, Part that is that we all have access to. So when we know who our guardian is, we know at least one, because there are 10 guardians, but we usually just link to one guardian. When we know who the guardian is, then it's um, it makes it easier for us to connect to that bigger body of energy for support. So that when we do any release work, it's just we, we kind of get that um, and that extra supply of support. Okay, so what I want to talk about 
today is really more about um, some of the things that is relevant for how we can better use the, the soul energy. The soul energy is, um, it's like a muscle. So the first thing I want to mention is that the more you use it, the more you practice it, the more you take your time, take some time during the day to connect with your soul energy, meaning that can um, to activate your zero point and to um, just connect with your real eye. At first, you may not be able to see anything. The real, real eye, the eye is for you to see things. So at first, you may not get anything because um, it's like it's a muscle that was just get just starting. And it's a very weak muscle. So you can't see anything, nothing like that. But however, if you, if, you know, um, I would say, if you want to develop your soul energy so that you can release emotions or karma more easily, then do this more often. Fire up your zero point, use, activate your real eye more often. The more you use it, the, um, the stronger that muscle becomes. And then after a while, you, you'll be able to see more things. So, um, I remember at first, I really don't see anything. Um, and recently when I went to the retreat, I was supposed to be able to see like um, the rings of like the different rings because our orb um, has record of all of our lifetime. So each lifetime is like a ring. So it's kind of um, like when you look at a tree, there are different rings that's so when we look at our all, the same thing is we can see records of like all the previous lifetimes being recorded and it's kind of like these rings. So I couldn't see the rings um, when I was in the retreat and we've been trying to see the ring, but no, nothing. <laughs> all all the, the couple of days. However, after the retreat, I keep on every day to fire up the real eye the, and um, you know, work on the orb and all that. I am beginning to see the rings now. I can actually see the rings. So, um, it, that's that's because I started to exercise that that muscle, and so now that that muscle is getting strong enough that I get the results. So, this is the first thing I want to mention is when you're working with using your soul energy is consistency really matters so don't just do it once a <clears throat> once a week like just spend five five minutes each day to fire up the, your you know, the zero point and using the real eye and then you know firing up the orb just at first you may not feel anything you may not see anything However, you are, because you are doing it, you intentionally spend time to do it. That is a communication to your soul that, okay, I'm getting serious now. So, yeah, that's good. So your soul would work with you to strengthen that energy so that you can do more with it. So consistency matters when, especially when you're working with, energy um let me see what else um okay let me just actually get my um so consistency matters what else i'm just trying to look at my notes um Okay, the other thing I want to mention is um, when you're working with energy is because it is subtle energy. So you 
really have to use your imagination. So just imagine that you can see rings. If you imagine that you can see rings or um, imagine that you can feel the rings. Because um, I remember um, I talked about activating your palm, activating your hands so that your hand can, hands can become more sensitive. So do things like that. At first, you may not be able to see but when you fire up your orb, you should at least be able to feel the energy of the orb. And when you are able to feel, like being able to feel, sensing is a form of seeing. So it actually um, reaffirm to you that, you know, you can do it. It's just that you, know, you just have to practice more so use all of your senses don't just think that okay i can't see yes you cannot see with your eyes but you can see with your hands or you may if you have other um more i would say more heightened senses maybe you can feel uh, maybe you can smell the different the difference between when the orb is fully functioning and coming out or not. So use all your senses because they are a, an, a confirmation that you can sense the energy. When you can sense the energy, then you can translate from one sense to another. If you can feel something, then just let your... just, just uh, ask for being able to see what you feel as well. So, and also know that um, the other thing, a lot of the times we don't see is because we there is some fear. We don't want to you know, see certain things. So being able to accept yourself being able to love yourself wherever it is that you're at is important as well. So accept where you are exactly. You know, don't don't try to think that, oh, okay, I meditate so many years. So if I don't, if I can't see, then I must be a failure. You know, thoughts like that actually um, backfires. So if you don't see right now, that's okay. Um, just know that the more you practice, the, the faster you can build up that muscle. Okay. And the other thing is I mentioned that um, last time that is that there are, I've talked about the real eye um, last year, maybe around May last year, around there. So the, one of the ways to strengthen the real eye is really to balance using the different elements. So there are five elements, fire, wood, earth, metal and water so the five elements and when you balance those elements within yourself then it actually strengthens your own energy and it makes it easier for you to um i would say easier for you to be able to use your real eye and use the your soul energy. Okay, so one of the ways is to do that meditation, and in in a little bit we will we can do that. So any questions so far? Comments? Rini, can you remind how you activate a real eye? 
sure. Activate. Um, so you have notes on this. You can send us. I I think I sent the the like Steps. last week's notes. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, I didn't practice. I forgot. Okay. okay. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> accept yourself <laughs> wherever you are. So yeah, don't don't you no need to be sorry about it. I know you have other things more important. Um, so just know that whenever you feel that you want to strengthen your soul energy, then those are the things that you can use. So uh, remember, I am um, the, so I sent the, so, so the, the um, one of the ways is to, um, so, Three three nine six 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 nine three activate. So that is really the the um, energy pathways. So those two are the energy pathways in our body. So activate them first, and then just do some breathing, just so that you can kind of relax yourself, and then activate thirty nine inch. And activating the 39 inch is going to give you some protection because when you are reaching, especially when you're doing the soul energy, or if you want to raise your frequency higher than it normally is, then um, it actually it would be able to give you some energetic protection so that, you know, when other, if there are other spirits around um, that may not be too friendly, or maybe they are just curious that they won't um, be able to get at you. The 39 inch, and then um, do the zero point activate. And then you activate your all. And when you activate your orb, you would, like what I felt is that I can feel that energy from the zero point going up all the way to the real eye. And it's actually projecting the orb out in front. So that's how it feels like for me. And then we do the... We ask the orb to do, to turn into a whirlpool. And that whirlpool energy is really the cleansing energy. It, it kind of swirls, the energy swirls around, your, your orb energy swirls around, and it will just kind of, the um, energy come in from the top. And as it leaves from the other end of the orb, it will be filtered and cleansed. So and we do cool. counterclockwise, right? As I remember. Yeah. It will naturally do that. So you don't really have to um, think about it too much. Just activate the orb. What What does the orb look like? Just the circle? Yeah, it's, um, it's kind of like a, a, a globe. So it's, it's, it's dense. It spins, yeah. Dense, yeah. And it will yeah, have any particular a, color? It will have a color. It'll be different for everybody. Um so okay, let me uh, let me try to find um what the different colors are. Hang on. I'm just looking at my notes from the retreat. Um, different colors. Okay, so it can be black, gray, dark green, and green. So, um, like it goes from black, gray, dark green, green. So that's um, and then it goes into red, white, blue, purple, and then yellow, and then golden yellow. So 
the, the black and the gray, those are, you know, um, lower end of the, the, the energy, the soul energy. And as it gets to, of course, the golden yellow is the best one to have. So it could be different, but it does not matter where you are at, no matter what. I, I think um, at first, a lot of the times we'll see pretty much green. When you said, use your imagination, for the few seconds, I saw that color metallic blue. Can be? Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, so what Sifu James says is... Um, when you get to blue, I think um, white, blue, uh, no, uh, blue, purple, then you can work with other people, meaning you can use your soul energy to cleanse other people as well. However, mm -hmm. um, before that, it's best to just do your own work. Like if you so see you a lot of the, yeah. green, yeah. then you know, do your own work. Sorry, what, what is it? So if you see the orb and um, it's changing color, and then how does it that same thing becomes a whirlpool? The orb? Yep. Mm -hmm. Or the whirlpool is around it. It's the it's your orb. Your orb becomes the whirlpool. So you have to just concentrate till it becomes a whirlpool? That's it's something that it can naturally do. So all you have to do is just let you all know that you want it to. So you just say world pool activate. Oh, so you have to actually say it. Yeah. Um okay. your all can do a few things. The world world pool is just one of the things. Uh, and then you said energy coming to the center. Where does that it's coming from the zero point. Okay. That's how I feel it. So the orb is like below your waist, like stomach, below your solar plexus area, or in that area. Um. Okay. The orb. No, it's not. It's it's the zero point. That's the zero point. Zero point. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Within the zero point. So it's within oh, your within. body. But when uh, you say you activate the orb, you are projecting an image out. Okay. Okay. So you're just projecting the image out. Okay. And then you do activate whirlpool. And the energy is coming from zero point or from the eye? It's from the zero point. It's from the zero point only. Yeah, it's from the zero point. So you have to say energy activate or just that will happen? When you activate the zero point, the zero point activate then it will start to, the energy will start to come through. After the whirlpool, you have to say zero point activate again. Um, um, okay, no, 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 no. Okay, no. <laughs> so you activate the zero point first. Okay, activate the zero point, activate the real eye, okay? And then you activate the orb. Okay. Wait for a second. When you uh you, you say first three three nine six 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 nine three activate, yeah. Then thirty nine inches activate, yeah. then zero point activate, uh -huh. and then you give the command real eye activate or 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 just orb activate. 
Mm. Um, I would I would do real I. Um, I mean, you don't have to, but I, because I'm, because we're just learning. So it's, it's good to actually spell it out. Okay. So it's after activate 39 inches, you'd say zero point activate. Yep. You then want real I first. You want some protection first, right? Yes. Yeah. We did all those steps. Yeah. Right. And then we did activate 39 inches. And then we said activate orb. So no, then before. zero point activate. Point. Ah, that's what I'm saying. So zero point activate comes before the orb. Then real eye activate. And after that, orb activate. Yeah. And then activate. world. And then world. And then world pool. And then world pool, yeah. Okay. What does this do? It just balances you? It's activate your real eyes and soul energy. So, yeah, you're starting to activate the soul energy. Because the orb is your soul energy. And you can, once you have activated your soul energy, then you can do other things. You can um, release karma. So karma, release, activate. Like You can do those other things. Even okay. emotions. What what was that? Emotions. You can also release emotion. Yep, you can do that. So the soul energy is not always activated. The soul energy is always there however what we are trying to do is actually work with the soul energy and uh -huh. strengthen it because usually when we go about our day do we have a soul energy yeah we do but it's not very um it's not always high because yeah. if we're distracted yeah. then you know soul energy is not interested but when um, we specifically work with it, we we start to strengthen it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Interesting. I was practicing. I don't know where I got it. I was practicing thirty nine inch activate true self activate zero point activate, and I was feeling that I activate. So I don't know. I got it. I just probably forgot half of it. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's your body. What you're doing is you're doing it for yourself. You, you, you like, what Sifu James has given us is really a, a recipe. Yeah. So is that the only recipe? No. <laughs> yeah. I don't you believe can that. The <laughs> you, you can find your own way. It's just that, like, we have a recipe first and we strengthen it. And after that, you may be able to just, as um, as Sifu James mentioned, like, it's really the most important thing is the feeling and the energy that you, you have access to. Mm -hmm. And once you have connected, once you have made that connection to your soul energy and your soul knows that you want to do more with it then you know you can throw out this and you just come up with your own way to communicate with your soul energy so we're like because we are just learning so it's the recipe mm -hmm. okay this is the, this is a recipe from Sifu James because he has done that he has and he's um, pretty good at it so we're learning from him, so we just follow the recipe until we get to the point where we can go and create our own recipe. Perfect. Yeah, <laughs> he always tries out everything before he teaches. Yeah, he repetition. Is... Yeah, he always tries out everything, and he, uh, you know, he makes the mistakes, suffer the the consequences himself, and then he teaches. 
because he knows how to heal himself <laughs> and not everybody can do can do that and um so follow the recipe until you feel that okay i've got it i i know what i'm doing then you can go and you know go off script do whatever you want and it's, then you learn <laughs> yeah and then you learn <laughs> you find your own way yeah, it's it's not very nice exp expression. Repetition is mother of learning. So when we repeat, now I'm gonna remember. <laughs> yeah, that's why <laughs> that's why I'm doing it again this week. Because uh, I only do it one week. Yeah. <laughs> For me, yeah. it has to be written down, or then I can follow it, or I write it down. If you just tell me, and um, then I forget about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I sent the my presentation out last week, so. It wasn't in last week. I just printed it. Oh, okay. That, that was all about the the dragon, what the uh, human. I, yeah. also, I also give you the, my presentation, and within the presentation, there is, um, I, okay, I'm, it was just about finding your guardian. That's all I found new. The rest was all from before. Okay, yeah. I don't know. Maybe it was a previous one. Um, I think this this lesson you taught previous week. Okay. I don't know. I did the last page. It is really... Um... Oh, okay. Hang on. Last did I send out the one? Okay, okay. Let me let me just find what did I send out to you all? Yeah, I did the last page. Is it's the last page of the whirlpool thing? The last page, yeah. The cleansing the soul print. Yeah, that one. Oh mm -hmm. uh, no, I see. The, uh, yeah, there's one more. So I want to see that. Presence meditation. What what date it was? Last week. Uh, last, last week the six, yeah. No, no six, six, yeah. Cleansing the soul. Right, right. I didn't print that page, yeah. Cleansing the soul. Okay. There it is, yes. Yes. Questions? Okay. More questions? Seven, eight, nine. If not, let's do a meditation then. So this one is really I want to go through the um the um, using the elements. So this is um I, I did a similar meditation a year ago. This is really to um, strengthen, balance the real eye. Okay. So let me uh, actually just let me um, share screen so you guys can see the script. And, um, and then we can go through it together. You guys all see this? Yeah. So um, if you're doing it by yourself, I would definitely recommend that you try doing this standing up because when you're standing up, it's easier actually for the energy to move. However, you don't have to. So the same thing this, this is. Um, three three nine six 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 nine three activate. So it's just to get the energy going. Breathe in pure love. And thirty nine inch activate. And then holy. So don't do holy fire, wood, earth, metal, water. Activate. I would do this all separately. So holy fire activate. So these are all different elements. So holy fire activate. 
and then just wait until you know the the because when you are doing fire when you call on the holy fire the holy fire will come because mm -hmm. that's what that's how energy is you call on it it'll come so the fire would come and then um at first you would feel it coming because if especially if you are um kind of unbalanced you have not enough fire in your energy makeup you would really feel the fire coming in and then after a while it would kind of um slow down and then when you feel that slowing down then you go on to the next element so holy would activate and then the same thing you repeat that cycle wait for the 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 wood energy to kind of um just become calm down then you go on holy earth activate and then holy metal activate holy water activate okay and then after that you balance activate because you want all of these five elements within your energetic body to be balanced so you just call on that and then you call on zero point and then you Activate the orb, activate the world pool, and then not mind release, activate, and then karma release, activate. Okay, so this is the meditation that we are going to do right now. Any questions before I uh, go any further? No? Okay, let me 